Hey guys, what's up? I snapped to Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next recap video, and this one is of the arranged war against Holder Clashers. Um, taking a look at it, we lost by one star. Uh, very uh, close war, kind of came down to the end of it. Um, just taking a quick look at the at the bases, uh, all the nines and eights were three starred, and then they got one Town Hall ten three star and uh, one Town Hall 10 two or and then the rest Town Hall 10s were two starred. Uh, we had the same thing going on, we just had a one star up on this Town Hall 10, uh, but this map doesn't really give the full story. Uh, kind of a bad war by us at Genesis. I not, I don't want to go into details, I because I, I there's a lot of different people pointing fingers at what the problem is, and I think there's a lot of different explanations for why this happened, but basically uh, two Town Hall 8s uh, were not cleaned up when all the Town Hall 8s had used their attacks, so we had to have two Town Hall 9s drop down and three-star the Town Hall 8s, and then the same thing for the Town Hall 9s. Two of the bases were not three-starred after all the Town Hall 9s used their attacks, so we had to have two Town Hall 10 attacks uh, be dedicated to three-starring Town Hall 9s. So really we had four Town Hall 10 attacks for three Town Hall 10 bases, and it just didn't work out. Got one three-star awesome job to trigger man, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, but just didn't have enough attacks, not the Town Hall 10's fault, they just had four attacks to work with and only three, or in three bases to, they had to hit, so um, Town Hall 8's, Town Hall 9's really have to step it up at Genesis, and I'm not pointing the finger at anyone, I'm, you know, one of the the causes of this as well, I had two, uh, two stars, one was close, one wasn't that close to a three star, so um, tough war for us at Genesis, but hopefully we'll bounce back, uh, second arranged war we've lost in a row, so kind of tough. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look some, at some of the attacks because those were kind of the silver lining. Have have some great attacks to show. Um, I do want to show Trigger Man because this was the difference right here, um, and it was very close. I th the, the difference was the Queen Walk. Obviously, uh, she goes the wrong way on him, and I think he had it planned out to the point where had she gone the right way, this would have been an easy two star, and it almost gets the two star here. So we'll take a look at it, uh, and also it's always good to look at a dragon attack. Uh, I think the queen is supposed to enter the base. He's going to drop some wall breakers down uh, for the queen to go in there, enter uh, the base there, and get the air defense taken out. So right here, uh, she steps up, supposed to take out that army camp a little bit earlier, I guess, and then make her way around, but you can see she's doing it the opposite. She took out the buildings on the right first, tries to drop a wizard, but at that point it's too late. She's going the wrong way on him. That one air defense is going to stay up. Obviously the one that he that she's going towards has already been taken out, so not really getting any benefit for her. The healers were dropped, uh, in anticipating her going the other way, so they're in range of the expo already. Uh, fortunately, there's no air defense there, so they're not gonna go down quite as quickly as they would have, uh, have the air defense still been up, but the expo still takes them down one at a time. Uh, you can see the healers starting to drop. Uh, the queen's taking damage as well, doesn't have as many healers on her, so she's getting kinda low, even with only a few point defense. Has to drop that rage. I think he only has like two or three healers left, maybe three healers left at this point as the queen makes her way around. A lot of damage coming out of right here and the healers. Uh, so another healer goes down in just a moment and you can see uh, it's taken out a good section of the base, already a third of it, uh, but the town hall is going to be an issue because there's still that one air defense up uh, as well as the inferno towers, the queen, the expo. Um, Would have probably worked out a lot better had the uh, had the queen gone the right way, I guess, and it would have been a pretty easy two-star because he was very close even with this mistake here. The king comes in, wall breakers the king in. This is basically just improv at this point, I think, uh, with the wizard to back it up. The king gets the CC lure, uh, draws everything out, uses the ability, uh, but that's pretty much it for the king. He doesn't get anything else. Uh, just kind of get eaten up by the inferno, the expo, all that stuff. Comes in with the dragons, the balloons, has one rage, gonna drop them on them, drop it on them right here. Um, and the CC troops are kind of the issue, I think, because they distract those dragons. Uh, you can see there's still like three or four dragons in that town hall, but they all get pulled away by those CC troops. That that one dragon does t target the town hall, but the air sweepers on it. It has a Tesla on it, the Inferno Tower, and the other two can get eaten up by the uh, the air defense, so they're not going to help at all. While the other two are on the right side, are going too far to the right, so just kind of a bad split on those dragons. Unlucky with the CC troops. And uh, that town hall is so close to going down right there, uh, but doesn't quite go down, and that made the difference. Uh, it was it was a good attack, uh, but just, you know, it's always hard to anticipate where a queen's going to go on a queen walk. Uh, so we'll go ahead and fast forward, because it's uh, pretty much over. Tries to drop a few more troops in. And those minions actually might have had a shot, but 
I think the deployment was off on them too far to the right uh, and doesn't get it done there. So good try to trigger man. Uh, keep your head up. Not really your fault. Just uh, sometimes things happen that way. Uh, and it would have helped if we had a Town Hall 9 to scout that out and uh, show that that Queen Walk wouldn't work. But uh, no Town Hall 9 attacks the scout. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the 3 star. Uh, also trigger man. So showing two of his attacks. This one went very nicely. And uh, you can see here, only level one Inferno Towers, but has the max air defense and you know high level heroes. So not an easy base to three star by any means as a Town Hall 10, especially because Trigger Man only has the level 36 King. So not a max King, uh, which makes it a little bit more tricky as well. Has a bit of a wall breaker fail right here, uh, but has enough wall breakers to actually bust in. And you'll see, um, I'm not sure what the, why he brought so many. I think he would want to bust his King in, uh, but isn't able to just drop the king behind the kill squad. I might have, he might have wanted to drop the king on a separate air defense, but at this point there's no point because uh, no wall breakers left. Anyway, coming in here has a poison for the dragon, gets the skelly traps, a lot of stuff in that poison, so good value there. Uh, everything making its way through, going for that first inferno tower, and the air defense is already down, um, and you can see that next air defense is about to go down while the queen takes out the inferno. So the queen, two air defenses, the inferno, and the CC troops all taken out, so very good value there. Pops the Queen's ability, she's going to get the Town Hall, but she's going to kind of peter out here, she gets locked onto the CC. Uh, coming in with the La Loon portion of the attack, the Lava Hound going down, tanking for all that point defense in the area, and just coming in with the Balloons uh, in that nice clockwise fashion. Doesn't have any rages, but doesn't need it. I mean, the, he has enough Balloons that he doesn't need to boost the damage, the haste are enough to get the job done, to just keep the Balloons moving quickly, and gets a very high value freeze in just a moment. Uh, you can see as the balloons make their way into that next inferno tower, goes ahead and drops that freeze. Pretty good timing, I think, and gets that air defense too. The air defense does go down uh, quickly, so it doesn't matter that much, but had the air defense, two Teslas, and the inferno tower all frozen. And I guess he did have a rage, uh, but also has the haste uh, to keep the balloons moving quickly between defenses at the beginning there. Has one more haste to spare, doesn't even really need it, but goes ahead and drops it. Uh, nothing can target the balloons. This guy put his expos on ground. Uh, so his base is done, and this is a 3-star. Nice attack to Trigger Man, uh, getting the 3-star. I think without a scout, if I'm right. There might have been one previous attack on this base, but does, doesn't have a whole lot of uh, information going into it because we were so so tight on attacks at Town Hall 10. Uh, but anyway, moving along, we're going to take a look at two more attacks. I'm going to split this video, or this recap, in half because... Um, because I just don't like uploading a you know twenty minute video. It takes exponentially longer to uh, convert to a upload uploadable file. It's just kind of a, a headache to do that. So I'm I'm just gonna go ahead uh, and upload a two part recap. So this is part one. I'm gonna show one more attack after this. But anyway, double O seven with a six star war. Very nice coming in here uh, with a few giants and a few hogs just to take out those defenses. Get the king funneled in there. The king is gonna basically go in. Uh, take out the queen and take out the P.E.K.K.A. and the wizard and the CC. So good value for that king. Gets the CC troops and the queen. Uh, making his way through. Takes out a few more defenses. Uh, or I think, no, just tanks for a few more defenses. Uh, meanwhile, the queen is starting a little miniature queen walk up top. Drops down the giant and a few balloons. I don't think that giant was needed because everything was locked onto the king already. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Not that big of a waste anyway. So balloons get in there and take out that little... Uh, uh, corner of point defense and get over and get that mortar as well. Meanwhile, the queen uh, has wall breakered in right there. Uh, she's going to go in there, take out the enemy king. Uh, the, you can see the giant bomb spots are pretty obvious. They can be by those builder's huts or by the cannon, kind of all in the middle of the base there. So it comes in with only you know a, a fraction of his hogs to get there and take out the expo because uh, he doesn't want to lose them to a double giant bomb. So he's going in very lightly on that side just enough to take out the defenses over there and meet up with the queen and king who have kind of converged very nicely in the core of the base there. You can see the double set of bombs being triggered. Now coming in heavy here with the hogs. You know, there's a bunch of Teslas here, a lot of point defense. So it comes in with a lot of hogs here. Uh, no double set of bombs, so pretty safe there. Um, and the hogs are basically going to make their way through the rest of the space. Has another heal spell and even has one heal spell to spare uh, because he doesn't even need it. These hogs are already under heal for this part of the base. It has a poison for the skellies that are tra uh, chasing them. We'll fast forward. Very nice attack, double O seven. All right, we're going to take a look at one more, and then I'm going to go ahead and end this one and uh, save the rest of the attacks for another video. 
number. Oh, I'm at my halfway point already. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, going to show the rest of the attacks in the next video. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. Uh, kind of short, but we'll have another four or five attacks in the next uh, second half of this recap. Uh, sorry, just kind of got off track on my on my notes. Going to go ahead and cut it off here. But, hope you guys enjoyed the attacks you saw. Good war to holder clashers. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.